Hi, this is Adam Leyden reporting from Food and Drink Expo 2012. I'm here with the legendary entrepreneur Levi Roots. The news came back three days after from Sainsbury's. Levi, your sauce is outselling Heinz tomato ketchup. I was like, are you allowed to do that? Now, you said that, uh, that Levi Roots and Reggae Reggae runs itself these days, but how, who is the team behind you and, and, and how big is it? Well, I have, I have seven children and all six of them still, still help within the business and that's the team. You know, we don't have anybody else. I have my PA who's here with me today, but the brand runs itself. Um, we're a licensing company, so we don't have a factory where we have 10 or 20 people working. We don't have an office where we have, again, 10 or 20 people running an office. We just have the Levi Roots brand. And, you know, companies will come in to us and say they want to make a merger. And we'll think about whether or not it's right for the brand. As we say, if Levi Roots doesn't wear it, cook it or sing it, then it's not right for, for the Levi Roots brand. Well, you know, as I said, Peter Jones is my mentor, you know, and it's a fantastic mentor that if you can have him as your mentor. You know, I think that he's the... He's the, he's the, the the key in my business, who I turn to for advice, because he's been there, done that. And I think you will always need somebody that knows much more than you to guide you through. But one of our first companies that we actually lend the license to was a company called AB Royal Foods. And they're the company that makes the sauce for us, and they're a massive company. And, and whatever we want to know about sauces or about condiments, I think they're the right people that we always turn to, because they know everything when it comes to about sauce and that sort of stuff. Well, you know, as I said, I think we are in that position, we are the market leader in Caribbean food, and that's what I always wanted to do. It wasn't about bigging up the Levi Roots brand. I think the bigger picture for me is the bigging up Caribbean food. And if I can do that and be the market leader, then it's a fantastic position to be in. Um, I think since my TV show Caribbean Food is Made Easy, Caribbean Food has arrived. I, you know, I, can I pat myself on my back for that? Because the last time Caribbean Food was on TV exposing itself like that was a fantastic lady called Rusty Lee. And if you remember her, she was way back, with, I think it was in the 80s she was in. So it's a long time that Caribbean Food hasn't been on TV. And because of Caribbean Food Made Easy now, you know, things that seems remote back then as Caribbean flavors are now, you know, up front in the supermarket. So I think we're getting there.